week long, Cody Vaz said he was ready to make his first career start. But what was unknown of the redshirt junior was his leadership abilities. With the game tied at 21 going into the fourth quarter, he gathered the entire offense on the sideline and said it was time to strike. I just I just told them that you know fourth quarter is our quarter and uh, you know even though we're at, we're in their house we got to come out in the fourth quarter and you know take it to him pretty much. Cody was lights out you know a great quarterback you know he was real poised and relaxed you know from the start of the game to the end of the game it was like nothing changed. I, I came in with Cody I, I knew how good he was we all did you know everybody inside the program we we had faith in him and we didn't we didn't you know we didn't trip when 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 Sean did go down even though that was a, a you know a, a big blow to us. I don't think uh, anybody in our locker room was particularly surprised that Cody played well. I think they know he's a good player and have had a lot of faith in him as a teammate for a long time. So I'm just really proud of him. The Beavers suffered a couple of injuries in the game. Wide receiver Brandon Cook said he just rolled his ankle and should be fine. As for running back Storm Woods, he suffered a knee contusion in the third quarter and did not return. One thing's for sure, though, Oregon State is 5-0 and for the first time since 1939. With the Beavers in Provo, I'm Phil Milani, KVAL Sports.